Hello everyone, hope you can all hear me. Um, well, as it says in the title today, I'm hoping to spend the night on Scarfell Pike. I, uh, I arrived at Wasdale about an hour ago. It took me about three hours to get, to get up here. Um, I'm at Mickledore now, and I'm heading up there, behind, what you see behind me, through the low point there. So um, it's looking really good, fantastic day. Looking forward to it. Okay, I'm still at Mickledore. A bit nearer this time. Uh, I'm about just short of 2,000 feet at the minute. It's absolutely stunning here. You can see where I'm heading through the low point there. Just looking up there, that's views to Scarfell. I've camped on top of Scarfell, um, but I've never camped on Scarfell Pike. So you can't see the summit from here. That's Pulpit Rock, I think there. And the summit's over beyond that. This is uh, a steep bit coming up, so uh, take a deep breath and get on with it. Just at the final ascent now to Mickledore. See behind me there. So yeah, so it's a scree slope. Um, where are we? There. Uh, where are we? There. Up there. Okay. See you in a bit. top of Mickle Door now and looking back quite a steep gully that there's quite a bit of uh, ice on but nothing that's a problem um, so I'm just heading up there now nearly at the top looking up to a broad stand there. I'd love to do that one day, but uh, it's probably a bit beyond me at the minute. Something to uh, look forward to maybe. Just finished pitching the tent. Um, I'll take you for, for a look round as well. I mean, there's um, was water there. Um, that's Lloyd's Rake on Scarfell. Anyway, let's have a look at the tent. <laughs> So what we got, got the Hilleberg solo tent, which is absolutely awesome. Expensive, but it's worth it in my opinion. And um, what else we got? Little jet boil there for making a brew and cooking. 
Um, I've also got a Rab Ascent 900 sleeping bag. Brilliant bag. It's heavy, um, but I love it. It's brilliant. Um, what else we got? So, <laughs> Thermarest Neo Air X Lite. That's a great uh, sleeping mat as well. Really easy to pack, dead light, comfortable. People say it's noisy, but I don't have a problem with that. Um, I do have an insulating mat just underneath it, just to just in case it gets a bit cold. Also got a blow up pillow there. Not sure what mate that is. Socks, fit socks for wearing in bed. And just in case it gets cold, hot water bottle, love that. Pairs of gloves, that's all my electronic stuff and food. And then down there we've got my Little shoes that I wear when I take my boots off. Room for the rucksack. Um, that's about it, really. So yeah, fantastic pitch tonight. Look at that. I was actually looking across to where I was last week on Crinkle Crags. Scarf out. to wash water hoping for a nice sunset later to get a brew on as soon as that sun starts to go down and you stop moving the temperature really dropped it's um, four degrees now and it's uh, forecast to be below zero tonight so uh, I think that hot water bottle is going to get uh, fired up later It's just after midnight now, so I'm camped here on uh, Mickle Door at about 2,900 feet. Temperature outside's minus one. Wind's starting gusting a bit, but it's it's nothing to worry about. Fantastic evening, stars are out, great views right across to the Isle of Man. So I've set my alarm for about 5.30 a.m. Sunrises, I think it's 6.17. So I want to get up and try and have a look at the sunrise.
cold though, I think it's about minus one. Um, I'm not sure I want to rush back to this crazy world at the moment, so what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to head up to the summit, the Scarfell Pike, and uh, I'm going to go back by the corridor route. Okay, that's everything packed away now. It's really important when we're out in the mountains that we leave no trace of where we've been. We need to protect these beautiful places. As you can see, everything's packed away. There's nothing, nothing left, no trash, nothing. Just a bit of flat grass.